week three the Pittsburgh Steelers are in Las Vegas I am not I'm still here in Pittsburgh and for the first time all day the sun is coming out and I think that's just because it's almost time for game time I got my coffee I got my snack we're ready to go we went fall spice by the way today because it was gloomy all day it's a fall day it's a fall day if you didn't hear the news it is the only thing that we should be talking about as Pittsburgh Steelers fans media commentators whoever the Steelers have reportedly promoted Matt Canada, who will now work daily with Kenny Pickett. And every single person who heard the news had the same reaction. We all went, what? What? But it's true. The Pittsburgh Steelers believe in Matt Canada. They want him to be their guy. They want him to fix Kenny Pickett. Well, let's, let's just say this real quick before we dive into this. Matt Canada once had a job to fix Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph barely made an NFL roster this season and wouldn't have if the Pittsburgh Steelers found a QB3 before they re-signed him. He is their third quarterback, and the only reason he dresses on Sundays is because the NFL made a new rule. Besides that, the guy that, Mason, or the guy that Matt Canada was supposed to fix, well, he's not doing too great in the NFL these days. So now his job is to fix Kenny Pickett. I will say this, it all starts tonight. If you're gonna put that much pressure on Matt Canada, everything starts tonight. But I think the pressure has to grow for everybody. If you're gonna make bad decisions as an organization, as a head coach in Mike Tomlin, as an owner in Art Rooney, as a GM in Omar Khan, you all have to collectively share the pressure. This is not just on Matt Canada anymore. You want to go all in on this guy? You want to make sure that he's the guy? You want to believe in somebody that your fan base has desperately yelled and chanted for you to get rid of? Well, you have all added yourself to a list to say, hey, we will back somebody. We will support him. And just like any other job, just like any other scenario, if you are the Pittsburgh Steelers and you are backing this guy, if he does not work out, if he is not the answer, that's on all of you. That's on every single person who helped make that decision. I personally don't believe it's gonna work out. I don't think I've seen any sign of it pointing towards working out, but they're gonna do it. Do I think that this is an all or nothing for Matt Canada? A little bit. I think that to some degree, those who believe, oh, well, they're doing this just so that they have no blame to go across the board. I think that has a little bit of truth to it, but I don't think that you can make this decision and then say, oh, it was a reason to get rid of him. Take a huge risk that you're about to ruin Kenny Pickett's future and not take the blame and not share the blame collectively. Awful move for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Very questionable. Fans have every right to be upset. And I mean, I've defended Mike Tomlin through thick and thin. I have had his back and said, this guy is a great NFL coach. There is no reason that he should get the hate that he gets. This is the worst move I've seen him make in my five years covering the team, hands down. And for the first time, I am openly willing to say, if this goes poorly, we have to blame Mike Tomlin, then we gotta, we gotta raise the pressure. The Steelers have to have some accountability for their head coach making terrible decisions. And I think he's done a very good job to make up for all the terrible decisions he's made in the past. This one, mm, this, is, this is as bad as it gets. So if you're going to put blame on everybody, you got to put blame. Or if you're going to put blame on one person, you got to put blame on everybody. Hands down. Pittsburgh Steelers, Raiders, Vegas, primetime, Sunday night football. Mike Tomlin is 2-7 and seven on the West Coast. Take that for what you will. We'll see how this goes down, but... I don't think there's anything that can happen in this game, win or lose, that outshines the news that happened today.